welcome back to the Carefree Kitchen. I'm Jill and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy and classic French toast bake. It has simple ingredients and is perfect for holidays or whenever you have family in town. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe and follow along and I will show you all kinds of easy and delicious recipes your family will love. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some French bread. And I want to cut it into bite-sized pieces. So for me, that's about an inch. Inch is probably good. You could also tear the bread if that's easier for you. Um, I find that a serrated knife, just cutting it into one inch chunks works pretty good. Okay, you're gonna need 12 to 15 slices of French bread. And I'm going to use this whole loaf, and if there's some bigger chunks, just break them up a little bit. I want it to be kind of level with my casserole dish. All right, so now to mix up the custard filling. So I have 12 eggs here, and I just need to beat these up a little bit. Just make sure you don't have any big chunks of egg in there. And to the eggs, I'm going to add two cups of milk. This can be whole milk, 2%, whatever you like. Add that together. And one third cup of maple syrup for the sweetener. And you can certainly use brown sugar here or sugar, the same measurements. And about a teaspoon of vanilla. And two teaspoons of cinnamon. Just whisk that together. And then some nutmeg, and you want just actually a little dash of this. There we go. Now we're going to just mix that up. Now I'm just gonna pour this all over the top of the French bread. It's okay if you don't cover everything, but try and pour it all over the bread. And then you can actually use a fork and kind of mash it down or stir it up a little bit, maybe it would be a better choice of words, so that all of the egg mixture can soak into the bread. You can certainly use um, different types of bread for this recipe. You can use challah bread, um, any French bread, cinnamon rolls, biscuits even would work great in this recipe. I like to use just the classic French bread this makes a really inexpensive and easy breakfast idea, especially if you have company in town, or our favorite is to make it before holidays. So Christmas morning, this is an easy thing to just pull out of the fridge, put in the oven. Thanksgiving, when everybody's home. All right, now I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge, and it can be only as much as like four hours, or if you're doing like a brunch or something, or overnight, or even 48 hours works great. Just stick it in the fridge, make it ahead of time so that you're ready whenever you need it. Okay, here is the French toast bake before I put it in the refrigerator. And as you can see, we have a lot of standing liquid here. And if you let it sit overnight, all of this French bread will just soak all of that up. And then it will be kind of like a bread pudding or more like a custard texture. Okay, here's my French toast bacon. It's been in the fridge for 24 hours. And as you can see, all of the bread has soaked up all of that yummy egg and maple syrup mixture. So it's ready to bake. One really important thing that you wanna be sure you remember is don't take your French toast bake directly out of the fridge and put it in the oven, in a hot oven, a preheated oven, or your glass dish may break. So be sure it comes up to room temperature before you put it in the oven. All right, and mine's gonna have a chance to do that because I'm gonna show you how to make a really yummy strudel topping for this French toast bake. Okay, and for this strudel topping for this French toast bake, it's really easy, and it gives it that like crusty, sugary topping that we all love on French toast bakes. Um, there's just a few ingredients. The first thing we're going to do is take six tablespoons of butter, and this is best if it's room temperature butter. All right, there are eight tablespoons in little block of butter. We'll just take a couple of those out. And what I like to do, um, especially if it's not quite room temperature, is just cut it up into little chunks with my knife here. Okay, and then to the butter, I'm going to add a third of a cup of brown sugar and a third of a cup of flour. Then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon, sorry, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. 
And then I'll just use this fork to mix it all up. Mix all that butter up with the brown sugar and flour. All right, you see that? This is what it should look like when it's all ready to go on your French toast bake. So just put it on there with your hands. Mix it in. Break it up any clumps you can as you go. Okay, our French toast bake is ready to cook and it is room temperature now. Make sure it's room temperature before you put it in a preheated oven. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and it's going to bake for 45 to 50 minutes or until the top and edges are lightly golden brown. So, here we go. All right, here's that French toast bake. It looks amazing. It's crusty, has a nice thick shell on it. Oh, it looks perfect. All right, here's my classic French toast bake. It has the amazing strudel topping recipe included. It's an easy overnight French toast bake your entire family will love. You can dress this up with a little bit of fresh maple syrup or buttermilk syrup, which I will include the link in the description box below. Add some fresh berries, some whipped cream. Oh baby, you're gonna love this. All right guys, thanks so much for watching The Carefree Kitchen. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. And I will take you along as I show you all kinds of fun and easy and delicious meals your family's gonna love. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. This classic French toast bake recipe is an overnight French toast bake. It has simple ingredients and is perfect for whenever you have family in town.